Last Saturday, make anything clear, it is that every single moment we have on Earth is a gift from God. We have to make the most of every day for the people and for the country that we love. The attacker in Pennsylvania wanted to stop our movement, but the truth is the movement has never been about me. It has always been about you. It's your movement. It's the biggest movement in the history of our country by far. Can't be stopped. It can't be stopped. It has always been about the hardworking, patriotic citizens of America. For too long, our nation has settled for too little. We settled for too little. We've given everything to other nations, to other people. You've been told to lower your expectations and to accept less for your families. I am here tonight with the opposite message. Your expectations are not big enough. Hey guys, my name is Devorah Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to be talking about the speech from President Trump and how it has triggered such an emotional reaction from the, and I'm going to call them evil, these evil women on The View and just their wild takes. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to show you how important mindset really is, not to, not just how you respond to what someone else is saying, but also what you are out there saying to others. And as I do these videos, my, my whole thing is mindset. I believe everything is about mindset. That's where everything always starts. And I'm not doing these videos to tell people what to believe and who to vote for and all this other stuff. I'm doing these videos to really get you to see why mindset is so important, especially when we're talking about politics. So without further ado, you guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's play the video. It is time to start expecting and demanding the best leadership in the world, leadership that is bold, dynamic, relentless, and fearless. We can do that. We are Americans. Ambition is our heritage. Greatness is our birthright. But as long as our energies are spent fighting each other, our destiny will remain out of reach. And that's not acceptable. We must instead take that energy and use it to realize our country's true potential and write our own thrilling chapter of the American story. We can do it together. We will unite. We are going to come together. And success will bring us together. Yeah, so, so far, obviously, great speech. Whoever wrote it, um, you know, very uh, motivational. Uh, now, I actually watched the entire uh, speech. It was 90 minutes. I'm going to tell you right now, he didn't need all 90 minutes. He should have stopped at 30 minutes and called it a night. I mean, it, that was me. But here's the thing about people that we all have to understand. When we are looking at what other people are doing, it's always easy for us to criticize and say, hey, I would have did it this way. Absolutely. And the criticism is definitely deserved for everyone, including myself. I can always record a video better. I can always say something better, or articulate it better. But here's the thing. We are who we are. And I'd rather someone be who they are, who God has made them to be, than for them to be who I want them to be. And so that's where I, I draw the line on, on this speech. Uh, it's Overall, it's a great speech. I'd probably give it a B plus, A minus. Uh, I think it would have been A plus if he stopped at 30 minutes. But I digress. Let's, let's just hear a little bit more, and then we're going to get into the reactions. I am running to be president for all of America, not half of America. Because there is no victory in winning for half of America. So tonight, with faith and devotion, I proudly accept your nomination for President of the United States. Thank you. Great speech. Okay. Let's take a look at this other clip. Let me begin this evening by expressing my gratitude to the American people for your outpouring of love and support following the assassination attempt at my rally on Saturday. As you already know, the assassin's bullet came within a quarter of an inch of taking my life. 
So many people have asked me what happened. Tell us what happened, please. And therefore, I will tell you exactly what happened so that I would be protected. There was blood pouring everywhere, and yet, in a certain way, I felt very safe because I had God on my side. I felt that. All right. So, yeah, that's, you know, he's describing what happened and what his takeaway was from the entire situation. And um, I don't see anything wrong with what he said. Uh, in fact, he sounds absolutely much more um, calmer, relaxed, slower in his speech. You know, it's an emotional impact. Anytime you have a near-death experience, which I don't really wish upon anybody, but however, it's actually sometimes the best thing that could happen to someone because it gets them to wake up and reevaluate and see things from a different perspective and what's actually important. However, I don't think these ladies from The View would agree with me on this. Let's take a look. I want to point out one thing. I'm speaking to fellow Christians. I was raised Catholic. I'm a Christian girl. When something like this happens to you, like this assassination attempt, and you say something like God is watching, was watching me, that is a very unchristian thing to say because it's very narcissistic. What about what about cor- what you saying? What you just said is um, is delusional. You first start off by saying you're Catholic, and then you say you're Christian, uh, and then you're attacking because he said, you know. God was watching over me. How what is that a statement that is blasphemous? I mean, is that a statement that is triggering? I mean, this is what I'm saying. The the they're so emotional, right? Donald Trump lives in their head rent-free. Think about that. And this is the lesson of the video today. Never let someone or actually do not allow yourself to become like these people on the view. They spend all day long complaining and bitching and moaning about someone they don't like. I don't really believe that's a recipe for happiness in life. We can disagree on policies. We can even disagree on someone's character. But to spend your time, right, trying to find any little thing to disagree with someone on, it says more about you than it does that person. What's his name? Uh, uh, oh, Comfort right, Torrey, 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 the Comfort fireman Torrey. who also got killed. I don't killed. know. I think what, Christian. what about all those guys Sandy who got Hook. killed on uh, Sandy Hook? All of those people. Yeah. It's like, oh, God was watching me and not watching them. There's something very disturbing. God about should have pulled the plug on that mic yesterday. <laughs> Wait, God is the technician now? Yes. He'll be right back. Oh, but but so her saying God should have did this, that, that 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 is not blasphemy, right? That's that's okay. Right? That that's fine. We we could say that. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, let's let's hear what else they, they had to say. Biden had been up there giving that speech, men in white coats would have interrupted him <laughs> and carted him off and put him in a padded wagon. Yeah, let's stop here. Because this is the delusion, right? When you're so emotionally triggered. It's like it's like someone who's had a nasty breakup and they just won't let go. Right. And so they have to spend their energy finding things to twist and to talk and, and to dissect in their own negative way about a person. I'm telling you, it's it's really sad. They spend more time. This is the problem. OK, this is the problem with politics. And this is the problem with with what's on TV. And the solution is to protect your mind, right? Be careful what you consume and what you listen to. I play these videos not for you to go listen to them. I play these videos to talk about mindset and, and what's going on in this country. And people are eating this up. And they, and they are not thinking for themselves when someone says something like that, right? You have one president. He's fallen downstairs multiple times. He was on a stage in front of an Air Force graduation he fell off. OK, he, he loses his train of thought. It's 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 these are facts, right? It's recorded footage that is not edited. Everyone can go look this up for themselves. But you've never seen that happen with uh, President Trump. And even if you don't like him, you can't dispute that even though they're similar in age, one, physically, even mentally, there's no comparison, right? 
So let, let's let's keep going. Here. I thought today I would wake up, and the and the TV would be full of like doctors talking about uh, Donald Trump's uh, cognitive decline. I thought it would be full of Republicans hanging their heads in shame like Democrats did. Uh-huh. Joe Biden had a bad ninety-minute debate. He said it's one episode. That's what we've seen so far. But we right there, that right there is the gaslighting that has existed since the beginning of President Biden's. Um, presidency and it's them claiming that he's fine he's sharp as a tack there's nothing wrong with him he just had a bad night he's okay but every time he does an interview since the debate it has become more obvious that it's not just a bad night that this guy he he's too old for the job not as far as his age but everyone's different right someone at 81 years old let's say if your grandfather was 81 and your grandmother was 81, your grandmother may have more energy, more sharper than your grandfather. That doesn't mean someone 81 can't do something. It just everyone is different at 81. And Joe Biden at 81 is not Joe Biden at 75. It's a huge difference. I saw yesterday was a replay of Trump's 90 minute constant rallies. It's too bad. The bandage was just over his ear. It should have been over his mouth. (laughs) Yeah, so there's the the woke take, the emotionally triggered uh, women on this channel. Uh, they are absolutely evil with what they spend their time and talk about, especially when it comes to politics. You know, there's a lot of divisiveness around politics in America, right? There's both sides. There's multiple sides. And um, I, I, I don't, fo- don't want to focus on assassinating other people's character. I don't want to focus on just continuing to talk about negative stuff. I just want to focus on the facts and what, are, what is important for us to focus on and, and to take away and help people actually make a decision based on facts and not emotion. This show is 99.9% emotion and 0.1% facts. That's exactly what's happening in front of our eyes. Um, I actually have one more clip, believe it or not. For me, I have a lot of faith in the American people. Mm. And I don't know very many men who want to be talked to the way that this man has been talking to men in his audience. I don't know any women, and I know his grandchild was up on the thing, and they're trying to humanize him and change your idea about who this guy is. Don't fall for that. Trump, you're talking about Trump. Yeah, talking about Trump. Yeah, so you guys seen those clips. And in that last one, you know, they don't want she's she's claiming that the RNC is trying to get people to see Donald Trump, not in the way that the media portrays him, but as who he really is. And she's pushing back on that. And obviously so, because they they are so deranged that there's nothing that they could agree on or even support when it comes to President Trump at all. At all. At all. And that seems to be the difference of people who are really critically thinking for themselves. They're emotionally in control versus people who are not. Right. And so the, the, the lesson here, especially when we're talking about mindset, is you do not want to come off like those women on The View. They are absolutely emotionally triggered, deranged. Donald Trump, President Trump, lives rent-free in their mind. And when that is happening, I don't believe they're very happy people. And our purpose in this life is to help others and to live as happily as we can. Life is short. And so I don't spend time stressing about President Biden or Kamala Harris. I don't, who, I don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but they spend time. And when I say they, all you have to do is watch all major news channels, CNN, NBC, MSNBC, PBS, ABC, these talk shows, right? And you're going to find a similar theme. They all keep saying that President Trump is Hitler. He's a threat to democracy. And they have a hard time, you know, addressing him as a human. And so the point of the matter here in this video is don't end up like them. Those women, 
most people on the news, I, I, I wonder how could they sleep at night talking this way? Right? I, I just don't think it makes any sense. And it's not just people that are on the left. There are people on the right that do the same thing. They are deranged too. There are people like that. I wouldn't say there's a lot of them on the right, but I think, but it, it's not, a, I'm not trying to get into who's right and who's wrong. I'm just identifying that someone could go on a stage like Donald Trump, President Trump, that is, and give a professional speech. He doesn't give any threats. He gives recognition that God was watching over him that, that day on the failed assassination attempt. And you still are going to have people who walk away with an emotional triggering uh, takeaway or stance about it. And it shows where they're at mentally in their own life. And so that's my mindset about this video. What about yours? What do you think about his speech? Did you watch it? Even if you didn't, what do you think about their take? What, what do you think about how they reacted? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for checking out the video today, and I'll see you in the next one.